And I give the call to the member for Griffith. Question to the Prime Minister. Since the Reserve Bank review, the Greens have opposed the government's proposal to remove its power to protect renters and mortgage holders from unreasonable interest rate rises. Former Prime Minister Keating and two former RBA governors have publicly agreed with us that big political decisions like interest rate rises require political accountability. Will, admit, will you admit your government was wrong to try and give up its power to overrule unreasonable interest rate increases and back the Greens' change to the bill? Order. Order. Prime Minister has the call. What's surprising here isn't that the Greens political party have that position. It's that the Liberal Party, or well. some of them, are saying that they'll back you on that as well. We'll see what happens in the Senate. But we had an RBA review, and the government's response is all about reinforcing the independence of the Reserve Bank. The independence of the Reserve Bank to deal. Order. The member for Hume. To deal with monetary policy, and the government's responsibility through the budget to deal with fiscal policy, and we won't want them, of course, to work together, which is what uh, we have been doing, which is why we produced the first budget surplus in 15 years. Now. Senator Order. McKim has shown through he sniping from the sidelines that he knows nothing about how the RBA functions and he doesn't understand the review. And he has found a kindred spirit in the Shadow Treasurer. The Shadow Treasurer uh, was consulted Order. by the Treasurer for more than a year. And he has never mentioned once, once any proposal to override power as a concern. Uh, this only shows that it's all about political posturing and opportunism and not considered. The member for Hume is going to cease interjecting for the remainder of this answer or to be warned. Not a considered view about the policy. Uh, what is clear is that the Shadow Treasurer not only cannot get a question to the Treasurer in question time, he has no authority amongst his colleagues who are trying to go down a populist route. Now, uh, the Treasurer has done his best uh, to be bipartisan, the member for reasonable. Will cease interjecting. The light shines upon the member for Groom, Mr Speaker, but it doesn't make him any brighter. <laughs> um, Mr Speaker. Order. Order. Mr just Speaker. Order. Members on my left. Just going to ask, just, just going to ask the prime minister, just the member for Barker. Just going to ask the the prime minister to withdraw that comment. I, I withdraw, Mr. Speaker. To assist the house. Um, Order. Uh, senator Hume has said this, which I, is beyond my comprehension. Uh, in fact, Order. in fact, it keeps the RBA Order. more independent if the government can override them. <laughs> That's the position of their shadow minister in the other place. No one to side with the Greens. You can wear it. You can wear it because we expect economic irresponsibility from them, but we expect a little bit better from mainstream political parties.